Stand by. This is Alexandra Palace, North London. In 1936, the BBC transmitted the first ever British television broadcast from here. Now, 60 years later in 1996, the most popular television organisation in the world, MTV, are bringing their European awards here. And of course, the future of television, YCTV, is going to be right here to guide you through it. From the first bit of stage construction to the last bit of drunken rowdiness at the after show party. The European MTV Awards began in 1994 in Berlin. Last year, the awards were held in Paris, with Jean Paul Gaultier and the host, <laughs> and Simply Red and Bon Jovi providing the evening's main entertainment. This year's London based show, with a predicted audience of over 300 million people around the world, will be hosted by boy band supremo Robbie Williams. With Simply Red, the Fugees, the Smashing Pumpkins, and George Michael showing up to make some noise. Stand by, Stand by for the 1996 MTV Europe Music Awards. Yes, you're joining us as we're walking back through the press area and back into the, uh, the main stage bit. Uh, Metallica are going to be on the stage having a little bit of a rehearsal, so we're just going to bowl through here and check it out. Uh, we're coming up to the dressing room thing. We're not allowed in there, you know. Never mind. I don't want to see Robbie Williams naked anyway. This is where um, everyone will wait before they go on stage, but we're not allowed in there either, I'm afraid. Now, come on, have a butcher's at that stage. Now, if that isn't fat, I do not know what is. Looking very, very impressive. Um, tell me, how many people are involved in um, putting together, putting on this show? Well, it builds from about March, um, and by the time we get to show day, there's probably about 750 people. And how are the nominations decided on then? It's decided in the industry. Um, the record companies, journalists, it's, it, it's a huge um, process. Uh, are Oasis not performing because of their behaviour at the US Awards? Oh no, not at all. Not at all. That's not the reason. It's just the flow of the show and many other considerations that affect all other bands as well, not just Oasis. I'm here with Ned, who's the producer for the 1996 European MTV Music Awards. Thanks a lot for giving us your time, Ned. Hey, Luke. Very well, thank you. Straight on to the questions. Uh, how was the decision made for who was going to be the, um, the host of the awards? Yes! It's me and my bum! Uh, the, well, that, that would be... That was a, uh, a decision I could made a long time ago, and it was one that uh, it was kind of obvious in a lot of ways, you know, because we were in London. We wanted somebody who who was from here, and, and Robbie, as he said at the press conference, is famous for being famous, and that's exactly what we needed. So he's also a very um, very lively personality, and he's very funny, and uh, I think he'll he'll have uh, the right sort of dynamic for the show. I told him I'd do it. What would you do if someone ran naked on the stage? Um. With my corporate hat on, I'd have to say that would be shocking, but uh, personally, I think that would be fab. But of course, the awards are the main part of the show. Here are my predictions for the main categories. In the category of best group, I think the Fugees will overcome the opposition to win. In the category of best male, George Michael is the hands-down winner. In the best female category, I believe Alanis Morissette will overcome the opposition to win. In the category of best song, I think the Fuji's cover of Killing Me Softly will overcome their main opposition, Oasis's Wonderwall. Perhaps the most interesting award is the Select MTV Award for Best Video. This is voted on by the viewers of Select MTV themselves. Now, I think it's a bit too close to call on this award. I don't really have a prediction for the winner. It'll either be the Fugees or Jamiroquai or Boyzone or the Backstreet Boys or maybe even Oasis. Are you excited about tonight's show? Yeah, I'm presenting uh, Best Male with uh, Bjork. Uh, 
uh, I hear you have a record coming out at the beginning of next year. Do you hope to be receiving an award next year, this time next year? Uh, it's a kind of gimmick. It's a kind of gimmick record. I, I don't sing, and some, some people have done a sort of club mix, and uh, I've done some Shakespeare over it. But I haven't even heard it, so you know, you know more about it than I do. Okay, thanks very much. Um, I'm looking forward to performing. I'm doing a little bit of singing tonight uh, with the Fugees. I don't know. Usually it's quite unpredictable, isn't it? Right, well, we've had to cut short our time at the uh, arrival section because uh, due to MTV rules, uh, we have to go and get in our seats before 6.30. We have to put our equipment in the car and then we have to get back and get in that queue and get in our seats by 6.30 so we can actually see the show. Uh, we've got a bit of run ahead of us. MTV Europe Music Awards. Right now, you can't hide. I'm gonna find you and take it slowly. Ready or not, oh, 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 yeah, and take it. It's a lovely lad, he's called George Michael. Oasis. show party we're just going to take a look around see what we can find so were there any awards that you thought shouldn't have been won by the people that won them most of them really any like anyone any of them you'd like to mention no <laughs> oh well you would say that wouldn't you well sabrina what did you think of the show oh, it was okay uh, when i was at home watching it it was so good i said i had to be there so i got dressed had the bath got dressed and here i am um how are you enjoying the party then the chips are good cold and there isn't enough food. Sorry, what was the question? How are you enjoying the party? I'm enjoying it very well. How about you? Oh, it's all right. I only yeah, just got here. Everything. My name is Brent Hansen. I'm the uh, president and creative director of MTV Networks Europe. Wonderful. So, Brett, if I can call you Brett, how did you think the show went this evening? I think generally very well. I was, I was incredibly happy. I think the performances were fantastic. Yeah, it's always a little loose at times on a live television production, but we deliberately do it live and we deliberately don't go out on a de delay, so there's been some pretty uh, wild language gone out there. Brett, we've heard rumours that the awards are going to either Amsterdam or Dublin next year. Can you tell me anything about this? Well, good choice, but we haven't decided. Both of those are definitely in the running. Hi, What's your name? Uh, my name's Luke. Luke. I'm over 17. Oh, Ooh, success. Well, we're being escorted out of the MTV party. By an MTV person, because apparently we're only allowed 15 minutes, but uh, that doesn't really matter. We've had a great time anyway, and to be honest, I'm coming back. help the children then okay go away from us then be that rude stop there in front of those evil paparazzi who make your life a misery don't come to the kids the ones that really would like to talk to you I would personally like to talk to you but not anymore I don't oh dear come on 
I mean, we wouldn't have asked you to get your s out. Gah. From the first bit of stage construction to the last bit of drunken rowdiness at the after show party. The European MTV Awards began in 1994 in Berlin. Last year, the awards were held in Paris, with John Paul Gaultier and the host <laughs> and Simply Red and Bon Jovi providing. Stand by. This is Alexandra Palace, North London, in, in the evening's main entertainment. This year's London-based show with a predicted audience of over 300 million people around the world will be hosted by boy band supremo Robbie Williams. With Simply Red, the Fugees, the Smashing Pumpkins and George Michael showing up to make some noise. In 1936, the BBC transmitted the first ever British television broadcast from here. Now, 60 years later in 1996, the most popular television organization in the world, MTV, are bringing their European awards here. And of course, the future of television, YCTV, is going to be right here to guide you through it. Stand by, Stand by for the 1996 MTV Europe Music Awards. Yes, you're joining us as we're walking back through the press area and back into the, uh, the main stage bit. Uh, Metallica are going to be on the stage having a little bit of a rehearsal, so we're just going to...